Hi there. We're continuing our journey through the Proverbs, the Mishle Shlomo, the Life Sayings of Solomon. We're in chapter 14 and we're looking at verses 32 and 33. Verse 32 says that those who make the wrong choices, those who are evil in their hearts, are just carried away by their own evil. Evil overtakes them. Remember, man was not made for evil. When humans chose evil, it took them over. And therefore, man gets just carried away by the evil that he does. But... It, the great thing is, it says, those who make the right choices have hope, even through death, even in the midst of death, they have the hope that God is going to take hold of them. There's a powerful image here that when we choose the good, when we choose the right, that we can be following, we can be following God and we're living in fear of him and we can even hope for redemption through death, which obviously Jesus provides as the one who is himself the resurrection and the life. And then in verse 33, it says that, Wisdom, chokhmah, is at home. Wisdom rests in the heart of, the, uh, of him that has understanding, in the heart of the discerning, in the heart of the prudent. There's something here about that word um, to rest, uh, to, 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 to relax, uh, that actually has a, a place of rest in the heart. Tanuach, it rests, it, it is at home in the heart of the, the person who's prudent. Whereas the one who is foolish, the foolish can't help but make known their folly. They can't help but advertise their foolishness. Foolishness somehow comes out of the mouth of a fool, whereas wisdom finds its heart, finds its resting place. There's a quietness there. There's a, a, a restfulness in the, in the discernment of the wise. Let us seek to be like that. Let us seek to be those who are at rest with the wisdom. We don't have to blab everything out. We can just be resting in the fact that God has given us his presence within us, his wisdom within us. Have a good day.